I'm going to give you three minutes of an ab and glute buster. So join me. You're going to need a bow suit. If you don't have one, you can get like an old school ball. Sit nice and low for back support. Sit up high for less back support. So we're going to roll down through each vertebra. Lift your tailbone. Come back up. Level one, you're right here. Level two, you're going to grab a hand weight. We're going to do 20 of these. Roll them down. Make sure you keep your chest lifted. Roll them down. Really lift the tailbone. Pull the ribs and hips together. All right, guys, we got like five more of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and change. You can do them by yourself. So immediately we're gonna flip over. We're gonna bring our fingertips out. Put your belly button in the center of the BOSU. Engage your glutes. And we're gonna lift our left arm, right leg eight times. Now here you wanna keep that tailbone tilted under. And then the other side eight times. So we're gonna strengthen front and back. So eight times each way. When you're done with those, you're going to turn around, you're going to get a band. You're going to sit on the BOSU, you're going to put it around the thighs. If you have bad knees, you want to put them above the kneecaps. If your knees are all right, you're going to put it right around your kneecaps. We're going to go into a hip bridge. So what we're going to do is roll down onto the mat, put your heels on top of the BOSU, keep your tailbone lifted, we're going to lift up, abduct, come up and come down. So you want to feel every single vertebra coming up and down. Inhale, exhale. So make sure that you have your knees tracking and the band just provides a little bit of resistance. So you're gonna roll through, press up. So I'm going a little quicker than I normally would. So you wanna do 16 of each one of these. So you wanna repeat those three things three times. All right, so when we're done with that, we're gonna roll down. So the BOSU is a really good device for instability. So now we're gonna come over and we're gonna stand on our BOSU. And that's going to just provide a little bit more work. So I'm going to stand here. You can just see, I know my head's chopped off, but my knees are bent. So if you want to just come to the floor, bend your knees and do a step back lunge. So if you do this off the BOSU, that's going to provide so much more instability. So coming off that BOSU, 16 of these. Then we're going to go back. We're going to come to the side angle. Put your elbow on top of the BOSU. Level one, you're going to stay here for 20 seconds. Level two, you're here. Of course, we're going to go both sides. So we'll flip, level one, level two, 20 seconds. If you want to add a little bit more, you're going to add what you call a C curve. So you're going to press up, pull your hips down, add some good music, right? Then the other side. So you flip, press up, come back down, and you're going to hold your plank. Elbows, shoulder blades packed, tailbone under, look in the mirror and see if those ribs and hips are connected, and you're going to shift forward and back. So you want to repeat all those three times. So again, again, just to revisit, we did roll-ups. You can add a weight. We immediately flipped over. We did left hand, right leg, eight times. Right hand, left leg, eight times. We did a roll back. We did a bicep curl. You can stand. You can even go on the knees to make it quicker. 16 of these. And we're going to add a tricep kick back to oppose that muscle group. You want to kick it back. And again, you're going to pick a heavy weight because we're only doing 12 to 16 reps. You're going to immediately come down. You can do the band across your knees or you can use a weight and roll down. So these are other options. Try to keep your elbows off the ground. So we have that one. And then we want to work opposing muscle group. And then you want to get your foam roller and you want to roll out that fascia. So I'm going to show you that tomorrow.